Hi folks, Bob Main, and this is another episode of Bob's Bullet Points, a subsidiary of the Handgun World podcast. This video is sponsored by Ammo.com, and uh, my special link is Ammo.com slash Handgun World. If you need some more ammo, you can save $20 off of a purchase of $200 of ammo, roughly the price of a box uh, of a case of 9mm. Check the uh, links in the show notes below this video, Ammo.com slash Handgun World. So I want to talk about what I think is a forgotten gun. That gun being the Glock Gen 3. This is a Gen 3 19. Glock Gen 3 19. Forgotten guns. Glock Gen 3s are seem like they're forgotten with the with the generation 5s out there now and all the other striker fired pistols that are out on the market. I'm going to defend the Glock Gen 3 19 in defense of the G19 Gen 3. That's what this video is all about. Why am I going to defend it? First of all, the incredible track record of the Gen 3. You know, people are saying, oh, well, the, the, the Glock Gen 5 is Glock's most reliable gun. Well, it certainly does not have the track record of a, of a Gen 3 Glock, and I, I know that there are a lot of people that have been shooting Gen 3 Glocks for a very, very long time with excellent reliability. Everything can fail. Any kind of a gun can fail. Sometimes malfunctions are also shooter-induced or they're caused by ammunition. Remember that. The track record on these. I also think that this is still the most modifiable gun. Most modifiable gun. <laughs> okay. It's so easy to modify. There's so many options for a Gen 3 Glock if you don't like the way it is. Bob, I can't release or I can't reach the uh, magazine release button on a Gen 3 Glock. Okay, if you can't, there's a fix for that. There's a lot of aftermarket mag release buttons. But but I can't reach the, uh, the slide release button either. If that's the way that you chamber around, you can get other slide release bu uh, buttons for it. Vickers uh, makes good ones. Plenty of others as well. Slide stop or slide release, whatever you want to call it. Well, Bob, you know what? These plastic sights they really suck. Yeah, these plastic sights are terrible. Let me share something with you. I've taught a lot of classes, a lot of firearms classes, and I've had people show up to the firearms classes with a stock Glock using the stock sights. They did just fine. If you're not using your Glock heavily, in other words, if you're not doing a lot of one-handed manipulations, and if you have a good quality holster, the likelihood of these plastic sights are a, a breaking on you is not high. Until you can afford it, use the uh, stock sights. Oh, you're recommending the stock sights? No, I'm not recommending the stock Glock sights. I think there are much better sights you can buy. Um, I like Ameriglow sights. I like Trigicon HD sights. I like speed sights. There's all kinds of different sights that you can put on Glocks. It's one of the other things that's so great about a Glock pistol is that everybody makes sights for them. But a lot of people never mo modify their gun, you know? When they buy a gun, they go to the, the gun store, they buy it, they take it out of the box, and they never do anything else to it. That's just the way a lot of people are. So if you are going to make one modification, though, uh, the sights is, that's what I recommend. Change the sights. Leave the rest of the gun alone. Give it a thousand round trigger job. And, and, and let, me, let me talk about the trigger for a minute. I still think that the Gen 3 trigger is the best of the Glock triggers, at least for generations 3, 4, and 5. Out of the box, I still think the Gen 3s have a better trigger. I've shot, obviously, the Gen 3s, the Gen 4s, and a lot of Gen 5s. Gen 5 triggers are good. Gen 5 triggers, in my opinion, are better than the Gen 4 triggers. Gen 3, I still think, are the best Glock triggers. And that's by doing nothing to them. Now, some people say, well, Bob, I don't know, the Gen 3, uh, you know, it just it just doesn't fit my hand very well. Well, I'll tell you what you can do. Here's my other Gen 3 Glock. This has an Advantage Arms 22 upper on it. But note the frame. I've had the finger grooves removed. I've had some nice texturing on the back. I've had some nice texturing put on the front. I've undercut the trigger guard. And it fits my hand perfectly. So you can do that to your Gen 3 Glock. Get some quality work done to it. Yeah, you got to spend a lot of extra, well, not a lot. You have to spend a little bit 
of extra money, but you still have the benefit of a third generation Glock. You still got that reliability. You still have the simplicity. You still have the minimalist uh, value of the Gen 3 Glock, and you can make it fit your hand very well. Matter of fact, I strongly recommend that. So, in defense of the Gen 3 Glock, I'm not seeing a whole lot of videos about that anymore, which is why I decided to do this. Uh, it's still a fantastic gun. You know, recently I put out on social media on my Facebook how many people think that the that the Gen 3 Glock is still a viable carry option. Lots of people still do. Uh, I know that Glock had to respond. They had to respond to the other manufacturers out there, which is why they first came out with the Gen 4 as an improved Glock and then the Gen 5 as an improved Glock. Um, I see nothing wrong with the Generation 3. It's... It's accurate as, as most people can be. It's reliable. It can be modified in just about any way that you want to modify it. It's it's fantastic gun. Um, you know, by the way, you don't need to have a magwell here. Well, Bob, the Gen 3 and the Gen 4, they don't have these, they don't have that flared magwell. Why do we need that? Lots of people have reloaded Gen 3 Glocks. No problem. I've seen a lot of competition shooters reload these fast. National championship competition shooters. In production class of USPSA or in um, stock service pistol in IDPA, third generation Glock. Or a fourth generation Glock. No flared magwell. They reload them just fine. Well, Bob, guess what? Uh, it doesn't have the cutout in the front. Yeah, you know what? A lot of people don't like that cutout. Because you know what? I can get my thumb back here. By the way, if I need to rip a magazine out, I can get my thumb back here in the gap. Don't put a grip plug in here. A lot of people put grip plugs in here. Uh, I don't recommend that. If you need to clear a malfunction to where you got to rip your magazine out, that's one place you can get your thumb in there and you can rip that magazine out. Okay, if you want, uh, like for example, there are Vickers base plates that uh, that stick out this way from the frame, and you can rip the magazine out easier that way. When you have grip work done on your pistol, I didn't have it done on this one, but you can have those uh, cutouts on the side of the grip if you want to make it easier to rip your magazine out. Most people like to grab it like this when they rip the magazine out instead of like this, the way that Glock designed the Gen 5. So, you know, why do we need that? In defense of the Gen 3 Glock, folks, uh, I, it, I still think it's very hard to go wrong with this. There's a lot of good deals out there on, on the Gen 3 Glocks because, you know, every, every, Glock's trying to sell everything else, the Gen 5s and the Gen 4s. And so the, the Gen 3s are not wanted. So guess what that means? You can get some real good deals on them you can still actually find them in new and unfired condition. This is not my only Gen 3 Glock, but I found a good deal on this one, new and unfired. You can still find them out there, and you can still get real good deals on them. So, in defense of it, it's a fantastic pistol. If you own a Gen 3 Glock, you have a good pistol, in my opinion. Keep it, modify it a little bit, train Shoot the snot out of it and get good with it. Um, if you're going to be buying a new Glock, I've had people ask me, well, Bob, if you're going to buy a new Glock, would you buy a Gen 5, Gen 4, or Gen 3? I don't like the Gen 5 that much. So the answer is Gen 4 or Gen 3 for me. And I couldn't decide whether I wanted to get a Gen 3 or whether I wanted to get a Gen 4. I got them both because I can, and that's a good reason, isn't it? Okay, anyway, final thoughts. Wonderful pistol, Gen 3 Glocks, been around forever for a long time, still going to serve you very well, still going to be probably as accurate as you can shoot it and can be modified in any way that you want. So don't forget about the forgotten gun. Gen 3 Glock. Thanks for watching. Please listen to my audio podcast. comes out twice a month 
on the 1st and 15th, and you can find that at handgunworld.com. Please subscribe to this channel. Comment if you want. I welcome your comments. Thank you.